Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Um, I am in Australia and I'm back on today to show you how I... Well, I haven't actually done this yet. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how I'm going to make some wings for Christmas maybe, I suppose. Um, the reason I've... I started to do it and I thought, no, I'm going to have to show you because look what I've done to me wire. And I don't know if I can do another lot until I get some more. I've got lots of wire but it just is just the right um, the weight. Now I can't really tell you what weight it is because unless I see something and it tells me I've got no idea. I do know that it was um, called it was, in the, it was in the men's part and it was called a fencing some sort of fence wire or something and it was only a couple of dollars and that's really good you can buy it but it needs to be not too um not too flexible like because this one here is only a tiny bit ooh. well this one here is very thick so that's that's way too too heavy because you're going to be able to see that and what we're doing and this one here actually looks about the same but it is just too thin and so is the copper one that I bought that's just too thin that's very flimsy so you need to find something that's going to let you move it but not um, you know not like you're gonna have to be tackling you know lines and things you have got to be able to be able to move it so anyway so I started off I've got a wing um, that I printed off on the internet like I wanted this found this on Pinterest maybe yes I did because that's where I saw all these and I went and I, I wanted one that was didn't have too much um, bits and pieces all over it then I stuck, I stuck I got a bit of balsa wood now I think you could use cardboard that would work you need some thumbtacks I could only buy these they're not bad but I'd rather you know something else so, because you want to hang on to it while you shape it okay and of course the wire now I did this one okay pretty close don't you think pretty close a little bit maybe this might but I'm gonna be able to fix that later so I started here on the end of my wire and I never I never joined it to start with I started there okay and I did what I'm going to show you now I'm just going to turn this over the other way and I'm going to make it so it's actually joined onto there see you know, I'm going to actually have them joined together instead of... If you have a bigger piece of box wood, which I didn't, or a bigger piece of cardboard, you can put your whole lot of wings down and you can do it all at the same time, okay? Now, um, what you need to do is just get your thumbtacks, put where you think you're going to need this to be, because we're going to do the outline of the wing, right, as best we can. Now, if you press it down, it'll stay there fairly reasonably well for you while you bend it to the direction you want it to be and then press this right down on top of it be careful you don't try to push it through the wire because that won't work for you and just get it the best way that you can because oh, of course you'll need lace as well because we're going to do a bit of lace, put a lace on but we also will need the sewing machine I think I've seen people do this sort of thing and then use glue but I don't think I want to do that I don't know if that's going to work I'm going to try this way anyway this is what I'm trying so you're here with me to to cheer me on or whatever <laughs> help me help me get it right okay so I'm just going along the edge of this and I'm just pushing it into the shape of the um, the, um yes <laughs> the template thing that I've got here now I don't know people this all different people do all things all different ways this is something that I thought I'd do because I was just making a little coat hanger and I'll show you how to do that in a minute before I put the lace onto this I'll show you, oh well let's do one thing at a time let's do this first then I'll show you the coat hanger okay because I was asked to make a I've asked, been asked to do a tutorial on the little coat hangers so which is here okay. tiny weenie coat hanger okay um because somebody I know oh well they don't ask me how could I could I do it for because she didn't remember seeing yes and I told her I'd do another tutorial on it okay so we'll push hope you can see what I'm doing I've got my hands in the way but I'm just going around trying to get this 
in the general shape I'm thinking too after I've done this one I want to do a heart but with this one I have of course it wouldn't be in the room with me would they a little tiny lights that I purchased yesterday oh well, yeah I think it was just a day for some time that I purchased a little tiny windy lights like I got from my fairy house that I made and I'm going to put them around the outside of this so let me see and then it can be a really nice Christmas thingy pair of scissors that will cut the wire oh no I don't want a pair of scissors to cut the wire I need the pliers to cut the wire so you'll need a pair of pliers might have seen better days I can imagine I'm going to cut it here leave it a little bit extra so because I'm going to have to wind it round the I'll be putting that back in the box later I hope going to be winding it round the thing now put these back in this container I could not find normal thumbtacks you know I'd have to have pretty colours on I have some somewhere too but my husband he um said he didn't take them but I <laughs> okay <laughs> he's always after them so I'm not blaming him there must be somewhere about so he wouldn't know what was in this room so now I've got that there like so which I probably see in the picture on the picture they were these two lines were together right weren't they so that the so that, that, that the wings went together like so that one looks better than the first one doesn't it really it turned out quite good well there you go I, you get better as you go along I imagine um so let's just put this through here for the time being and we need to fasten it on here better than that okay so I'll undo what I did to start with this is how I joined it up just to hang on to it I guess was my main concern is get hold of it now see you want something that's not going to fly back into its own shape or out of shape while you're doing these sort of things with it you need it to stay in the right shape while you're going to maneuver it around and this is really wrinkly up now like the other piece of me wire look at that One, oh. but it has to be like this to be able to make it stay where you want it to be so all these kinky bits now you could do this by hand I suppose you could sew this by hand I'm wondering whether I should because you know what I don't want to break the needles on my sewing machine <coughs> if I accidentally hit it I know you can buy a I can you can buy needles to do this sort of thing to go out to make a to go over the wire see that's really twisted now I should not have probably done that so don't just do that twisting on thing okay but I need to join that up there don't I you know what I'm going to do I'm going to twist them together and then I can sew it up through the top when I get to it okay so I just want to turn these two around here and I don't know why, but oh, well, I suppose I need probably two ply, pair of pliers would have been a lot easier. It just depends if your hands are um, strong or not. If they're not very strong, you probably need to use a couple of pair of pliers. Like, well, I'm not very happy with this one now that I've done the other one. You know, this is not as good, is it? The first one. <clears throat> Never mind. It's got a bit, a bit of a weirdness to it, hasn't it? <laughs> really um it's not too bad though hey eh? what do you reckon not too bad it's not too bad okay so i'm going to turn this over the top of here i hope all right which is somebody's got a lot easier way to do this than what i'm doing maybe maybe they haven't you never know I've seen these this morning I thought oh dear I want to try one of those because I was going to do the coating and then I thought well I can do the, the, the wing the same way couldn't I I thought to myself and I have a lot of trouble getting this last bit fixed up nicely ah what are you going to do just be persistent it's just not <laughs> it's very very hard for me to move it to bend it at all it's just this is me I guess um, oh, excuse me my hair is hanging in my face because I'm trying to grow out my fringe thing and it's driving me crazy I'm a bit old to have a fringe oh well not necessarily but I just want my hair to be all one length one day be good right. 
I'm still wearing the 70s hairdo. <laughs> or a 60s, 70s hairdo. And I just want it to be all the one length and then I can just tie it up or something. Oh. Yeah. I've got a bit of screw whiff on that, but anyway, we can't be getting ourselves into a tears about that. Now, I'm going to give him a bit of a, a moving about. Um, might have a mouthful of water. So, wings, okay. Now, I do have some nice laces that I got put here. <laughs> Yes, I do, because I want to put a nice piece of lace over it. I don't want anything, I wasn't going to go with anything too heavy, because I have to put, I've stuck the wire on top of the lace, haven't I now? Come here, you. And this bit here. And I'm having a lovely time being a mother of a baby cat. <laughs> She's a bit needy for this while, but that's how it is. Doesn't matter. Don't care, love her. That's all there is <laughs> to it. Um, this is nice. This one with here with a bit. There's my bits of curtain I think that I got from my sister in law way back. Maybe this one wasn't. Oh, look at that's got a little flower on there. Well, isn't that cool? All right. Oh, that's nice. But I think there's little marks on this. This might have become somewhere, some, somewhere else. I might have actually bought that. No. Here's a piece that I rather like better. Here we go, look at that. Now, I can sit here and I can painstakingly stitch around there by hand. Because, you know, I'd do that before I cut it out. But then again, I might use this bit. <laughs> because you don't want to cut it out until you've stitched it on because it'll wiggle around probably and, you, and it's going to be so hard for us to catch hold of while we're doing it, okay? So I need to get a bit of the white on. I suppose I could glue it on there. Gee, it seems to me like an easier thing to do, doesn't it? Yep, I've lost the idea of trying to do it under the machine because I've got to keep... Right. Let's try gluing it. Let's glue it and then we can um, look at, you know, later what... Because I've got this mat underneath it. It should work pretty good, actually. Maybe. It'll stick. Let's have a go. So I'm going to put glue all around my wire. Maybe. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh, I wish I'd have bought them little lights in. I've got to figure out how to fasten them on. They they only operate with a battery, you know. I suppose I could get hubby to do it for me, but I could. I might have to come back on him and show you um, what it looks like with the little lights on it. So I'm just going to put lots of glue around you can using the hot glue won't probably wouldn't be a good idea because it won't um uh ow now i'm stuck to it believe that or not the hot glue will dry too quick in places and okay give it a good clout there eh? here we go okay pat it down now i put glue on every bit of that wire i could that i could okay because I imagine I'm going to have to go back and stick it down again in a minute or two. All right. Now I'm going to do a bit of decorating on there, don't you think? I could put some beads or something. Let's put some on the other side. Oh, wow. What do you reckon about that? Oh, will I still be able to cut, see the cut the wire out? I will, won't I? Wait a minute, I'll cut it out first, then I'll put another lot of, ooh, another lot of lace on. Okay, right. That's inspiring, isn't it? I'll do that. Scissors, please. All right, got them. Yes, it needs to have it on both sides. Oh, this is interesting. I find it hard to find something that I want to make lately. I don't know why. I've got so many things that I'd like to do. And I find something and see something different. Oh, I need to have a go at that. Well, see, I think, too, that this is sticking better because it's um, a lot, there's a lot more design on it. 
you know if you've got a piece of lace that's very sheer and it hasn't like I say it was all open like that it wouldn't probably stick enough for you you know so this is you can make fairy wings like this too couldn't you make some fairy wings I'm sure I've seen people do this don't know who or when or you know but it says your brain picks up things over the years and then we'll bring it out one day <laughs> you know you'll remember it and think oh yeah I can do that it's some sort of called I can't remember what it's called now but it's good isn't it when we can get up something and and, um, and I've got glue all over me. Good scissors. Oh my goodness me, Sonia. Don't make a hole in that with the end of the scissors. I hope you've still seen what I'm doing here. I'm waving this around in the breeze. When I do the other piece on here, that's going to make it a lot more secure. And then I'm going to be able to add some beads and things to them. And there'll be a nice little pair of wings. You could send somebody for a Christmas decoration or put it on your own tree. Yeah. Oh, let's hold it down here, sorry. Okay. Really windy here today. Oh, at least it's got warmer. Oh, you'll probably get sick of looking at me after a while, you know, because I, I won't mind coming in here now doing bits because I won't be in so much pain. And I won't, you know, I won't be hot. I won't be cold, I'll be hot instead. <laughs> Thirsty, but still okay. You know, it's just hot and thirsty, but I'll be right. I'll be um, happy to, to do things if it's not too cold, because when you're cold, your body's cold. It's, I don't know, mine just doesn't want to work for me. It's okay. Cut all the, maybe if I'd used a smaller pair of scissors, it might have made it a little bit, bit easier. I can do the other, like, trim in a minute <clears throat> when I say the other what's left on there that's still part of the thing oh, I like those they didn't turn out too bad if I get better as I go along the next pair, the next pair of wings should be better still shouldn't they right more glue and we'll put make sure this time I put oh, I don't know I need to still see I want to still have this clear bits right here so I might just Put that in there in that part so I've still got them sort of see-through-ish <laughs> pieces okay now along the wire is probably the best place to go if I'm going to do some beading I don't want it all to get stuck um, where I'm trying to sew through the where the lace is it doesn't matter if you get a bit on the lace it'll, it'll hang on to it all right okay and then you can just put a hanging up thing on it or stick it on the back of a doll uh, you can make any size you want see if you go and you can draw one draw a wing if you want to you know and then all you got to do is just fold it over and then you can draw the other side I like to do that and way you get the right your two sides will be right there if that dog ours is barking at me I'll be upset with it probably is you know she's she can hear me talking in here she probably thinks it's somebody else <coughs> Might be the neighbours there. What have I done? Oh, nothing. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Nobody panic. <laughs> I couldn't work out what was happening. <laughs> it's okay. Right, I've got that down. So I'll go around here. Jeremy's down there telling them to be quiet, so I'm probably barking at the neighbour people over there. she's having new steps put on and, and it's a disaster and if I was there I'd be over there wringing their necks they wrecked it something frightful they have got no idea them people what they were doing I could have did a better job myself I'm not bragging anybody could have done a better job it was really bad they took the form work away before it was dry and it's all these pieces keep coming off the side of it and, took photos of it, that's how come I know, because you put it on Facebook this morning, I don't know if you, you probably didn't see it, I commented on it, and told him it was a bloody disgrace, oh, I swear, I'm so sorry, but oh dear, people these days are just so slack, 
and it took about two weeks to do because they were going to come back and they never did they never turned up till a week later after they've had it half done so she had no front steps <coughs> oh dear I don't know it's a shame there is a really lot of good people out there that do really good work but they have to make it then you know it makes that bad for other when it's got these cowboys as somebody said they were you know that it makes it worse for other people that do that sort of work you've got to be really careful then you know you but anyway i know when we had our bathroom remodeled it oh they spent more time on the flogging phone it's always on the bloody mobile phone i swear it again oh my goodness i'm sorry <laughs> i usually don't swear it's not good <laughs> But, you know, things like this, I don't know whether it's because we're a little bit older or what, but <laughs> people think that we don't know stuff, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just imagining it. And I feel really sorry for the poor lady, but I hope she does get something done about it. So some people don't, but I think she will. But a lot of people will just accept things and just, you know, and go, well, I'll just have to go with it. And when you're younger, you know, you kind of do, because you don't want people... <laughs> I think when you get a bit older, I think we get a bit bit more braver. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not. You go, oh, God, I'm going to go and get after them people for that. Yeah, but anyway. She can't do it herself. She's, very, she's a disabled person and she can't do it herself. Like I said, we could have because that's how bad it is. <laughs> There you go, look at that. Does that look like wings to you? That hasn't got that um, bit here, but I might have to get in there. Like I've got the shape. I'm going to. I need to get a smaller pair of scissors under this. This is not going to work. I don't know if these will either, because they might be too fat to get behind here. This way, no, I can't see that way. I don't know. Now the little. I'm going to say to you now, the lights ain't going to be going on here because they're going to be too long. The lights are three metres long and this is only a 20, fair, uh, 20 pair of wings for an angel or a fairy or your Christmas tree. Okay, so that's how you make a pair of wings for you. Hang on, it's a bit, a bit sideways, hang on, I'll get it, maybe. Well, it's got windy and blue and crooked. <laughs> Anyway, so that's how you make nice fairy wings or angel wings and then you can put something on here and put some nice bling on, put some bling on it and, and bling them up. I'll just have a look and see how much time I've got left because I don't think I've got enough. No, it's going to turn off any minute now. But anyway, so I hope you just have a go at that, and, you know, and try and make some nice wings. You can do a lot more sheer if you want to, but I find it's sitting better. I'm going to have to go along when I get my little a tiny pair of scissors, which are here somewhere, and just snip the the edges off that, you know, this here a bit neater. You could put a bit of trim around that, I suppose, if you wanted to. You can decorate them up any way you like, you know. Because I'm, but I'm going to put beads on it. I'll sit out there this afternoon and put beads and sequences on it, I think, and just make it for because I wanted to okay so I'll just go now and I'll come back and I'll show you how to do the little coat hanger okay so thank you everybody for watching and I hope you enjoyed my funny this one here is kicked out too far oh never mind maybe you sat on it okay I'll talk to you later bye bye